What's going on guys? Welcome back to the FM22 Journeyman series. Leave a thumbs up on the video if you've been enjoying it. So before we get into the review of some games we've played as we've entered October now, I just want to give you guys a bit of an update. You know, with that time of the year almost around Christmas now, just a few days away. In a couple days, I'll be going to visit family to stay over Christmas for a few days, about four days. So I'll be back after Christmas and then, yeah, we'll get back with the content. I don't know how many videos I'll get up. Uh, maybe I'll get like a just like a Merry Christmas uh, type of video just to be a video for a day because, uh, yeah, I'll be away and it'll be a good little break because I've always had that like every year for you guys that are like really focused on the channel and been around for a while, which some of you guys are the viewers uh, for these FM series. But yeah, that's what, you know, it's going to be that time of year again. I just want to give you uh, guys that update. Then we, yeah, tick over. When when we do tick over to that new year, I always get pumped up. It's, yeah, it's a bit of a schedule for me. Like, it's, it's a similar thing we do. Like, go away for Christmas and then, yeah, new year, we tick over to the new year. Then we get back cracking. So, uh, I'm really happy with how like the series is going. Like I'm really enjoying where we're at in the save, especially. Uh, but yeah, I did want to give you an update. Not sure how many other videos will be after this one. But yeah, we'll definitely uh, be back strong after Christmas ticks over. And yeah, keep continuing this series and some more FM videos as well. Um, yeah, hopefully you're really liking the channel, uh, how, how, where we are heading, and I'm really like where, where where we are going, being focused on FM. We're not really doing FIFA stuff anymore, uh, which I think is a very good thing <laughs> for me, uh, like mentally. I've been so much more enjoying the content uh, just for, you know, cr in the creative terms, not focusing as much of how well the video is doing views wise and all that, because um, yeah, I just enjoy making videos. I don't really focus on that much kind of stuff anymore, but yeah, I uh, did want to give you guys that update. But you would notice it's been a pretty successful run. We've just kept up with our unbeaten and winning streak at the moment. Fairly close games. This one we got over uh, Glenavon by a penalty, which, you know, it was deserved. It was almost another, like, that's still, we're not even going to go deep. That was a good result. But it's another one where we had a lot of chances. Uh, with, we had no outfield goal. Like, in play, outfield. Yeah, we had no goal in open play. Yeah, no goal in open play off of that. But with all those chances, only having one clear-cut chance. So it's easy to be saying, oh, we got all these shots. We deserve more goals. But also, it's creating clear-cut chances out of those as well. But, uh, yeah, we had to speak on that. Uh, we've been getting some penalties, a bit of form there. <laughs> form of getting penalties. Uh, Dunn, Gannon, Swifts, we really controlled them, pushed them over pretty easily. Uh, that was a 3-0. O'Reilly, I've been happy with his signing. Obviously, he's not going to be a permanent play. Funnily enough, he's transfer arranged to another team. Uh, but we've got him for a while. Oh, transfer, we'll talk about transfers. Ryan Swan, He's he's been consistent, but I don't know, like, he's 27. Like, I'd say he's in his prime. He's probably, at, we've got him, like, he's at his best. Uh, I say he's not going to be part of the future. Uh, we, we're going to talk about, yeah, tr a potential transfer that could have been uh, when we talk about future. But Colerain, 2-0, they've been doing pretty well, and we pushed them aside fairly well. Let's take a uh, look at the game. Look at this. In this one, we got two goals. I think clear-cut chances, regardless, you never get them so high uh, compared to that other match stats we looked at. But this was a more well-rounded performance. Our defense needed to really hold up uh, against another decent team in the league. But yeah, if we see, uh, we're going to actually play a cup game. Uh, I thought, okay, October's only three games. It was a fitting point to you know do the episode here because we're rounding up another month, even though there's th only three games in the month. But this, guys... This guy's a Brazilian. He's played in England, so I just want to <laughs> put things out there. Uh, Dos Reis, he couldn't get the work permit, so it had to be rejected. And this guy would be a game changer. Would come in as our best player. He's just that next step up. A Brazilian. Yeah. See, this is what I want to talk about. Can I? Can like? Can I be understandably frustrated that he couldn't get a work permit? And this is in the save, not real life. In the save, Solhal Moors in England were able to sign him. I'm not sure about work permit rules there. Then Grenick Morton in the Scottish Championship. I'm very frustrated. We, if we got this guy, we. 
I'm I'm just annoyed. I'm not even like I'm not like ranting. I'm more just like he accepted our contract offer after all 13 clubs. He chose us, and like it just. FM, just please. <laughs> that would have been such a good signing. And what I was leading to talk about, saying the long term, I was like, if we signed him, I was ready to say, we have a chance in Europe and getting to, well, getting to Europe and then maybe doing something. But like now, I'm not even sure. If we're not going to be able to get guys outside of Europe and maybe some other talent, <laughs> I don't know, man. But if we got him, which I think we should have, we got the contract accepted, and considering he's already played, you know, in UK, it, like it, it depends how this season goes, really, because on the form where, like, if we keep this up, you might say, oh, you could try and win the title, and yeah, that you have the. I've already shown you how Linfield and yeah, how they go in Europe and Champions League and then Europa League, trying to qualify for that. But yeah, we might stick around if that's the case. But I think if we don't finish top, I think we look to yeah move on from this season because. Part of me feels we almost are ready to move on to a new team, even though we're enjoying it. We're having a decent time here, but yeah, for the save itself, for the series, a bit of both, a fresh team again, yeah, that's that's going to be it for a journeyman. Uh, we're setting the team up nicely, but yeah, that kind of, it kind of yeah, annoyed me. <laughs> it annoyed me how that got cancelled when I was like, oh, sure, normally Brazilians, they do fail with their work permits, but he's already played. England, Scotland, Northern Ireland, I sure, oh, surely thought it would get ticked off. So I'm a bit ticked off. Anyway, something I'm really happy about, places where we do, like that would go on top, you know, I've talked about Kumbeni and Timmy. That's two position, and I say two positions, but one area of the pitch, the central mids, oh, would have been sorted, could have sorted out left wing. Or do we just put the hopes in Wilson? I just don't think he is as good as that Brazilian. I would have been like, he's an upgrade. But yeah, and then Wilson's future probably would have been a striker. We were talking about Swan. That's where all that leads up to. So anyway, uh, O'Reilly doing very well. Yeah, very happy. The whole team is doing well. I don't want to point out individuals when, yeah, amazing team performance. Brown continuing to play him is also equaling development. So yeah, we'll get into this game now. So, okay, pick up where we left off last time out. We've had pretty good form. Let's go. Just, yeah, right into the match. Okay, this looks like a bit of a patient build-up. They went back. Yeah, Gallio got it. Timmy in midfield. And back to Brown. <sighs> a beautiful kick. And see, that's the benefit. Over the top to Swan. This proves it. This real, I think we've seen many, many occasion, right? And that was just his strength. He, did, he didn't head that, did he? He wanted to take it on. I reckon he's tired of heading it off to someone else. He's like, I can, yeah, I can get this down here. It's going over the top. That was a perfect kick, though. Oh, yes, guys. That was brilliant. And we might just see one directly after. I hate when there's just a throw in right to the opposition. And again, Wilson, interception there. Maybe he'll want to show me he's good enough. Ah. <laughs> uh. O'Reilly to Donnelly. He's been pretty good as well. Kumbeni. Nice. Bo look at this. Boyle. Boyle. This is some good football. I think we've got time to praise now because, yeah, not too much. Yeah. Balamena United, they're, uh, they're not doing a lot against us today. And just before half time, they have one more shot. I would have liked to maybe continue on with the job here, which hopefully we do in the second half. So, yep. Yeah. Uh, where are we going? And please, yeah, score, well, <laughs> I'd like to see a bit more. Okay, right, early, early, let's see if we force an error. We could do, intercept this, Daisy does. This is great. I think you could already see we, without a doubt, are better than last season. Even last season when we were getting results, we didn't look as convincing, like from my memory anyway. We weren't... We weren't playing like this. That doesn't even lead to a goal. But, like, we weren't in control of games in this fashion. It's an interesting time. Interesting time in the game because we have an opportunity probably to rest. You know, we'll take Boyle. Boyle off. Yeah, oh, don't... Oh, yeah, he's the shadow strike. <laughs> Swan should be that last player there. Uh, but anyway, McCaffrey's going to come on. You have used... He's won that contract is running out. 
and we haven't used him as much as last season. So, you know, he's 210 on his wages. Is that value? Because financially, we are struggling. We haven't talked too much about that in this episode yet, but uh, I do wondering about renewing uh, his contract. I feel he could be easily just let go of. Then maybe wait Slater for Jack Berry. Again, we talk about the situation, what could be about the future. He would, he would be. We've talked about his potential. Maybe just put him in a support role. Really would like to see another goal, though. Maybe rest Ben Wilson as well. We'll bring on Peter Finley. You know, he's starting to really step up. See, imagine the future. You had Finley on the left side, Berry on the right side. Oh, and then there's Wilson as a striker as well anyway. So you like you keep talking about the future, but you're saying you're leaving at, you could be leaving at the end of the season as well. Make up your mind. But I think it's hard. There's like multiple reasons I'm thinking about benefits and negatives and what will be best. So don't forget, if you really want the players, if it's possible, you can, yeah, take them to your new team. So, oh, here we go. Here we go, Barry. I that's what I want. We keep talking about him like about his potential. I want him to start showing that he's got that talent in him. And okay, he does there. And we talk about using him in a supporting role where his finishing isn't the best. McCaffrey, great ball. Great ball and Barry just collected that then finished. Really really good. And a bit more comfortable now. That's what we like to see. So something I do, well, I haven't done it as much as I like. I think we just lower the tempo should like slow it down for us when we've what i think we're, we're a position where we got the result don't go too hard keep your condition intact and as we get even low, let's just drop it let's yeah just drop that tempo play slower play shorter yeah and even just take run out the fence out nah even dribble less just yeah just less of that i think that will be beneficial in terms of what we're trying to consider there that's something i haven't done a lot but maybe that's something that now is entering my mind oh we can start to do this but like last season i suppose we weren't in too many situations where we could you know be winning comfortably and let, let's slow it down and then be comfortable with the players on the pitch see i, I definitely see the improvement that we've made and just standard messages uh with the result nothing outside of that daisy with all our goals daisy was the player of the match won all his headers 60 passes and yeah overall just would have had good defending so i just want to see i want to see his stat i want to see his stats for that actually if we go for yeah we take a look here 10 interceptions i think that was one yeah one of the biggest reasons why yeah he would have got such a high rating and key, he made some key passes as well. Yeah, so he was just key overall. He strikes me as someone who is like a bit older, but he's 26. I feel like he's maybe a 28 or 29, like he's almost pushing 30, but no, he's a great age. But yeah, he, he does have that feeling for whatever reason. Sometimes it's mixed with their, like their attributes, mixed with how they play, mixed with how they look in their profile photo. I'm not saying he looks old, but you know what I mean? He strikes me as a few years older anyway, which is a good thing. That's experience. Now our next game, you know, Glenn Turan, they're six, 11 days. So we get a good rest here, but we got to, yeah, over the month, we're going to keep track most definitely. You know, we're not losing as much so far. Uh, it'll be interesting as we get to the end of the month, because if we see, uh, we played a home game, but then we got Glenn Turan at home as well. So it's all home games for the month, even though there's like, yeah, three games. But it will be interesting to see if that gets us in a positive, uh, money-wise. And the guy we were talking about, I didn't put as much respect on his name that was a former Barcelona youth player. That's how I was going to address him if we signed him. Man, we we could have signed. We almost signed a Barcelona youth player. Like, the, consider his age, essentially, because he they released him within the last year. And he, yeah, at Birmingham. Obviously, he got his... Yeah, he's that's in his photo, actually. But I still... Yeah, it still holds that to me. He just come out of the Barca Academy, and then he moved to England. So I'm... Ah, I'm, I'm, get, I'm raging again. I'm getting mad about it. We... Sh Do we try and sign him again? I don't even know, man. He's Because he's got Spanish in him as well, so... Yeah, normally when they have that, the Brazilian players, they can sign. So I'm just... Yeah, well, we can't go for him again. He's done... 
he would have brought a different flavor. He would have brought a different flavor to our team. Like this championship clubs, teams that are pushing close to the Premier League that are interested in him. So just put that into perspective for his yeah potential, how good he can get. And the top player we could have had on our hands. Uh, yeah, and I didn't even draw that. We just continued. We got Coleraine in this cup. Uh, it's not the most hard-hitting cup in terms of the like the success. That's what we mean. The final, you get 13K. It's reasonable. But I'd say we want to go as far as we can in cups. <laughs> go all the way to win them, sure. Uh, we need as much money we get to get out of the red. One thing I find interesting, though, is when we'll actually get a job offer. Like a job offer our way. We definitely need more success. So that's why I think no matter where it is, I think having like league titles under your name is a good thing. That Mid-Ulster Cup was actually our first competition that we got last year, but yeah, a cup. But yeah, it's always in the back of my mind, where is our next location uh, we are going to be at, which should always be in a journeyman. Well, he plays internationally. So just getting that is is so good for development. And like I said, guys, if we move clubs, there's no, it's not like we're saying goodbye to these players forever. The thing to keep in mind at this level, there's like, what's his value? Transfer? Like, they'll be so easy. To, it really depends who our next club is, to be fair, if they have money at all. That hasn't really been a situation for us so far. I was going to say, actually, on this skin... The amazing skins, there's always one thing missing. The transfer value doesn't show. But value is so weird this year anyway. There's, there's, you know, like they're like guide values and all that. When you go to offer the clubs, that changes their value and, yeah. <laughs> but you'd still love to see that on the main screen, I guess. Uh, Darren Mulholland, obviously another we keep a keen eye on. A young potential striker, really. And he's like an exciting one. Yeah, a striker that comes through your own youth intake, your own academy. And where he's got yeah potential in line with someone, well, close enough, like the Peter Finley and Ben Wilson, who we talk a lot about. Yeah, he's around that mark. And do you think he's not too far off to get actually some game time in the first team? Like, his better attributes, like for his role... Not bad at all, and the fact he could play yeah, where we use a shadow striker. I think he, yeah, he's still got some weaknesses, like the dribbling isn't the best, passing and technique, but he's 17, he'll improve. So who knows what even Brown could be, who's still only 15. Interest, where would you like our next job being? Somewhere South America or elsewhere in Europe that's not in the UK? Yeah, you don't want to say he's going back to England or something. Yeah, where do you see our next move considering what our yeah, current reputation is as well. But all right, here we are. Continue up into the next game. Glen Turan. Important to keep up with Linfield for us. Like, I've stepped... I talk about how I've increased the expectations on myself. And it's probably... Not in the media, the board. No one here expecting us to go for the title. Because, uh, that, that, like, you can see. You see how good we are. So that's where we're at, man, to me. We're not going to switch up much. We're really, really comfortable. The team, everyone's like connecting. Like, it's like a lot of ticks right now that we are you're just really happy with. Uh, there's a few little things here or there. Like Mitchell's unhappy. He's a goalkeeper. Maybe we rotate with Brown. You don't want to burn out a youngster as well. Let's go. Point finger. Pick up where I love. You know when you're good form, yeah, you can, like, you can say that on a roll. It's not just one game every so often. It's like every match you could say it. Uh, see more, same from you today. Mm, okay. I'll keep that. Now, just worrying about Aaron Donnelly. Nervous, but yeah, he's been good. I'm not too worried about that. We got their formation on. We'll go over to our stats and see. Yeah, you can see Kambeni. I don't actually look at the bottom of the screen so much. You know, you got your ratings and stuff. You guys only see a portion anyway. But in general, yeah, my eyes don't veer down to take a look at that. I'm also, yeah, fixed on the gameplay. And see player stats on the right side, to be fair. But what's going to come of this? Again, strong defending. We should... Oh, goal kick. Why did... No, 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 no. That is rare. If that led to a conceded goal why <laughs> well it, it won't anyway oh not directly but on the count you gotta cover this <laughs> nah okay calm down okay we're controlling and composing 
But that's what we want. Boyo! And he should have put that home. I was surprised it was him, actually, and not Ryan Swan, but that's the danger of a Shadow Striker. But anyway, I'm a bit disappointed we haven't taken a lead. It's a tight game, but that was... Oh, that was a real chance. But it looks like at halftime, that's going to be it. We want to... Yeah, let's... Let's try and see. Not happy with the performance. Still a couple apprehensive out there. Defenders see Donnelly. I have faith in you. And that gathers him. Hopefully midfielders gets Boyle. And it does. Might as well do attackers. And yep, Swan. Ben Wilson, the only one staying composed. That's not bad. Not bad. An early chance, potentially. Daisy and Donnelly will probably ease off tackles on their yellow cards. Come on. Come on. Swan. He was offside anyway. But that's the intent. That's the intent we want to see. And now I feel like we're going to step it up. So on that, I think we go highest tempo. And then maybe also... Oh, I can't click it from there. Just a general attacking mentality. See what that does to it. Yeah, we'll leave it like that. Be more expressive. Come on. Okay, highlights created, highlights created, good sign. But we never know which way it can go. Is it going to be interception? So here's Donnelly. Clear this. Yeah, just. It's going to, I reckon, yeah, I think it's going to be one of those games where it's going to be a winner. Like, it's going to be a 1-0. Ooh, I was considering a change maybe a couple minutes, like around the 60th, before this highlight comes. And we may never know, and that's going to be disappointing. That's disappointing. Never know if we would have been able to prevent it. And that was, that was from a set piece anyway. That was just from a set piece. Yeah. That's, that's disappointing. We'll take Kambeni off the defensive role, just put him supporting... McCaffrey would come with creativity. Oh, actually, in the end, Kumbeni's going to come off here, and then we'll get a playmaker. Yeah, he'll be playmaker. You know what McCaffrey's like. But I don't want to. Yeah, don't want to commit to too many other changes. Really, Boyle, Swan. Okay, no, actually, because Swan, I still wonder about. Even though, yeah, he's been good for us, but we'll bring on Peter Finley in that situation. Yeah, Wilson to lead the line. He brings something different. He's a different role. Yeah, he's a different role as a striker. Not that we're just changing the role, but he's, yeah, what he is. He's a different player. You could have said consider play with two strikers, but I don't know, man. Shoot on sight. He early crosses now. Go wider. Distribute quickly and now over the defense. It could be one of these. And then, and then it goes down like it, it feels like a weird game if we lose it. Donnelly, come off, bring on Beverly. What we will add to that, just so we can allow it, we'll use inverted winger. Wait Slater, inverted winger, but stay on attack just to mix the roles. But then Deasy, yeah, just to get a bit more, get more attack, we put wing backs. We've got to, got to do something. And then overlap. And now, and now we'll go low crosses. Now we're making our changes. But I feel it's, yeah. It's my reaction a lot of the time where I say, yeah, I feel we're just, it's going to be one of these games. You're not going to find it. Berate. But I don't think, I, I think a draw would have been fair today. So maybe there's a goal in us. Uh, I feel it's going to go their way. Oh no, strong defending. That was Deasy that headed it to safety. And now on the counter, Finley just come on, gets a yellow card. He might show. Can Finley do something here now? Finley, or more correctly, we made a change to his role. <laughs> more correct. Yeah. But I just, yeah. It's just going to be these ones that. I, I'm too familiar with FM. I knew it was going to be like this. And yeah, I'm annoyed. <laughs> I'm annoyed. It's disappointing. It's disappointing. And this is where we'll there'll be separation. We'll start to see separations between us and top. Like we've been great. We've been great form. But I think come the end of the season we'll be there will be a little bit of a difference from us and yeah.
Now, Linfield, yeah, see, they find their way. In close games, they'll find their way, that 1-0 to be on their side. And we're, that's at, even at home for us. So it's a bit disappointing. Of course, anything can happen. But, yeah, we just we'll wait and see. Always anything can happen. Linfield could go on a bad run, but you don't expect it. Anything is possible if they drop, like, say if they lose a couple games, draw a few. Sure, possible, but we still will be, like, we'll be doing the same ourselves. So, uh, yeah, we'll go over to the schedule to, yeah, show you guys. Uh, we were probably due for a loss as well, so there's so many things. We hadn't lost in the league yet, so, yeah, there's so many, and especially with all wins in a row in this period, not even draws, so... Uh, at least you saw how we played against uh, Ballymena United, even against Glen Turan. Like they didn't, they didn't push us over. They weren't dominant. It was a pretty even game. But as I said, to show you guys, we had all home games this month, and it we we're probably still going to be at a loss. So yeah, we'll see how we go. We may look to play a bit more off camera. As I said at the start of the video, it it really depends. Um, yeah, when this next episode will be, if I'll be able to get another one out before I leave in a couple days, we'll see where we're at. We'll see. maybe I'll do one like tomorrow. I'll just do how however many games I get through. We'll do it at that point, just so yeah, I have another video out. Uh, during this period but i hope you guys have a good christmas over this time as i said i might have an upload where it, just to yeah get an upload to say yeah merry christmas and all that stuff and yeah then i'll be back after yeah, christmas day or boxing day so yeah hopefully you guys will enjoy the content as we move into yeah 2022 as well really excited what we have coming uh, it's more just continu continuing this series and then doing those rebuild ones as well so you may see one of those going up so yeah excited to see what's coming and i'll see you guys next time